Hi, John here. Today is uh, Thursday, the 15th of uh, June 2017. I'm just going to ring Bundy Waitai. He's the Paramount Chief of the, the flag here. Uh, the main guy or chief that has the jurisdiction to do his job as such to go to the World Court in Brussels to put the flag up and to go to the Magistrate Court in the, the Westminster Magistrate Court in Paddington, London and to Westminster Parliament to put the flag up there in Parliament after we have petitioned King Ernest Augustus V to the throne in Plymouth County Magistrate Court or County Court won't be our Magistrate Court there, the will be County District Court with the Sheriff <coughs> and us, the Native Grand Jury Trial Magistrate Court inside that British District County Court. So we're taking the Magistrate of the Admiralty straight onto his land, King William the Fourth's land, ownership ship, partner, ship, flag, ship, authority of jurisdiction, and raise the flag. We raise the flag on William Yard, where the immigrants that came here emigrated, emigrated from William Yard and other parts of Britain, UK, or Scotland, Ireland, and Wales and England to come here. I'm talking about coming here in the Pacific, the whole Pacific, because this is the flag of the Pacific, now a flag of the world. And so we go there and we go to the World Court of King William III of Orange, who is our legal and legitimate partner ship of Admiralty under this flag as Magistrate Court in Brussels, Belgium, Netherlands, <coughs> Bank with our Maui Powerhouse Bank interest in partnership here with this flag we raise there inside the World Court set up for us to reign in the pirates, which is what this flag is. It's a declaration of war flag and state of emergency flag that seizes governments who violate and corrupt uh, countries under the British Commonwealth jurisdiction of Admiralty, this Admiralty Bank Magistrate Court flag jurisdiction. And so New Zealand, we've exhausted all avenues of law and justice <coughs> and revert back to the King. And we have a reigning monarch, King Ernest Augustus V, through to King Ernest Augustus I in this bloodline side, on this side the King's side, on this side, the Queen's side. Admiralty, Vice Admiral, second, third party. First party, King, second party, Paramount Chiefs of Aotea New Zealand and Pacific Islands, Moriori Native Paramount Chiefs. That's the title in Britain, Westminster, in the world called the Moriori Manukau Company. Title, the native 
title to New Zealand, 1820 to 1830. Lockdown inside this flag of 1834. And 1831, <coughs> St. Mary's Church order of birth, death and marriage certificates. Inside the Scottish <coughs> right, acting as a contract partner to the British <coughs> government, Westminster, and us, the paramount chiefs, British sovereign authority, admiralty, trading bank, grand jury, trial, magistrate, court, magistrate, court, sheriff, and these paramount chiefs here in Ngāpui, the 13 chiefs of Ngāpui, who put their flag together with King William IV, straight to Westminster. <coughs> okay, so that's how that works. And so I'm ringing Bundy, why I have appointed him as paramount chief under his white eye name and appointed uh, up under his white eye name for Nati Rahiri and Cook Island, uh, Aitutaki on those islands closest to New Zealand country. <coughs> I've appointed him as a paramount chief on his surname White Eye Stuck. White Eye, stuck, White Eye, all the way back. And so I've appointed Manahi Parapara Mauhini as the Moriori Manakao <coughs> Chief, Paramount Chief, that holds this British title over these lands from his country called Rekulu, or in other words, Chatham Islands. That's a country, Ireland, separate from New Zealand, out there in New Zealand, country. It's got its name, Aoraki, South Island, Raki, Taranaki, or Mount Egmont. <clears throat> the South Island being Mount Cook, the Cook discovery, but not colonised yet. This is the trick, not colonised yet. So that makes the Cook Islands not colonised yet in 1773, when Cook arrived. He did not colonise this country. That came later. I'll tell you how. With Manahi, Parapara, the name Parapara is equal to Manaka, being Moriori and Mawini connections being Moriori. Those are three old names with the Wanoa name from Raiatea and Rapa Nui that came later after this law. Got it? <clears throat> so, in order, this is how it looks. First here, Moriori, Rekuhu to Mount Hikurangi. Hikurangi name comes from Rekuhu, or Chamas in English terms. <coughs> Rekuhu to Hikurangi, Mount Hikurangi. You'll find a Hikurangi up north, you'll find a Hikurangi down towards Wellington, Shannon, around that area. Manukau. There's another Manukau there. There's a Manukau on Reku Island, and there's a Manukau right here in Auckland. There, you see? And there's a Manukau up north. So, that name is stuck with the Parapara name, surname, right through this country, and including the East Cape, where we come from in Tiki Tiki. Rangitukia. <coughs> so that's <coughs> Manahi title is the 1831 Tiki Tiki Church, St. Mary's Church, and Rahui Marae, 
טיקי טיקי, אתה רואה נוע, אתה פרה פרה. אין, אתה אומר הנה, אין דקה, זה פארקי הענן, קאר, C-A-R-R, אין K-A-A, זה אל פארטנר, אין בריטן, אונדה צ'רץ', אז בין אינגליש, קאר, C-A-R-R, אין אל נייטיב סרנאמס, זה וואה נוע, רברן, וואה נוע, אין רברן קאר. One white and one black, brown. <coughs> okay, that's that title. In that church, because the Moriori hasn't got churches. They haven't got churches. They don't have churches. That came later with the Ratana, but that was later. It wasn't back there at that day. Okay, you got that? Just to rule out that part. Uh, of the Ratana and the Manukau was there because of the British kings and queens and the paramount going together. That's the only time that the Ratana came in as political through the Pacific Islands. So now we have Manukau, we're still stuck on Manahi, Mohini, Parapara and their old names. There's other old names but we're, we're, we're talking for ourselves. I'm not talking about all the other surnames because there's Spanish mixed up with Tahitian and Hawaiian names, uh, Arawa, Hawaiian names is Te Arawa, names mixed up with the Paraparas and the Wanoas and also the Manukos. Uh, so we are just splitting them all off back to the beginning of this flag. Okay, so now we are at 1831, St. Mary's Church, and we're back to 1820, to 1830. The birth certificates came out in 1830 of the Manukau, <coughs> registered in Edinburgh, Scotland, as I was here. That's all it says. I was here. I didn't see anybody else. And so we're fixing that point in time to the commerce of this flag in trading, bank, jurisdiction of admiralty, court martial, financial martial law of jurisdiction with captains on ships as surrogate kings. And I'm acting surrogate king and sheriff as the bank the Moai Powerhouse Bank representing these Paramount Chiefs in New Zealand and in the World Court of Partnership. Okay, that's how it works. And the Magistrate, the, the Westminster Magistrate Court in London is our first point of call. <coughs> so we're still on the Barba, Monaco. And so we have. Proof, fact, evidence, deeds of truth, titles, and <coughs> evidence from Britain that we have a private contract running here, still active after 183 years when this flag was given to us on the 20th of March 1834. It was already King William IV in 1830 when the title started off with the Manukau birth certificates. But the land was being sold between 1820 and 1830 through Rewa Rewa, uh, through Te Rawakato Wharahere Manukau, resident in Cambridge, Britain, UK, England, as a British residence. That's why we're getting our British residents back, which we had back then. British citizen, British resident, we're going to get back when we go there. It's still there for us. It's this government here, in, pirate government here in New Zealand that legislated the 1834 part of this flag is dead. There's nothing in it. There's no legal in it. There's no authority in it. Only the 1834 where it originated as the founding of this country, not Captain Cook, 
it was the Moriori that found this country with this Moriori flag, Manukau Company, in Edinburgh, straight from there. <coughs> the other Cook titles are traditional, native, but they don't have a flag to go with it in the commercial side of contracts, private contracts, nobody's business. Okay, so that's that part of the paramount chief here that those two paramount chiefs are responsible for. Captain Cook with Bundy, Waitai, <coughs> and the Moriori Manukau title with King William III and King William IV and the St. Mary's Church and the St. Patrick's Eight Point Star in the four corners of the earth is that Moriori Manukau Wānoa Maui crown title. The Maui statue being the memorial land title <coughs> that was picked up by Queen Victoria in 1868 on HM Topaz from East Ireland and transported to London, hidden for 100 years, and that's <coughs> our Wānoa Tahitian royal family title. That's Tiki Tiki in the East Coast, Tipito there, birth of Aotea New Zealand and Pacific Islands, and Rapa Nui, Tipito, Tipito Rapa Nui, birth of the world. God's Earth Spirit creation. Okay, I'm just going to put a site for that and put those documents on there as the spiritual part of the operation of this planet Earth and its axis north and south. And things happening in the east, the first sun in the world is Tiki Tiki and its Hikurangi ancestor from Rekohu, Moriori. Okay, the first sun in the world, the closest earthly distance to the sun is our reference mark to stamp our Moai memorial title to the same as the oldest native here in the Pacific Islands, the Moriori and the Manukau and the Wano Moai statue together. Those two titles. And also, the, the Moriori title is the four pillars carving that you see with Paramount Chief Bundy in charge of that up north and Mani Mohini Parapara or Parapara Mohini in charge of the Moriori title from a legal point of view. That's what it is. It's legal and legitimate memorial to this country and the Pacific Islands. That is that title. It's headed by Ngāpuhi and their upper house in Parliament. The Parliament in Wellington is a lower house. It's of less jurisdiction over this country. You got that? They are only there temporarily. And will be sacked right out of business by this lot of paramount chiefs when they all wake up who they are really hidden away by the iwi Māori hupapa traitorous Māori that belongs to the Bākehā white man from Australia New South Wales pirates I'll say it that way because that's the way it is I'm telling the true story deeds of truth Take this as citation on this video. Okay? It's, right, it's true. You have to deny it's not true. For those Maori who are fighting against the Moai, you got a problem. Your problem is in the lower house in Wellington. You shouldn't be in that upper house at all, Bundy. They should not be in the upper house. All this lot on this side of Queen Victoria. Queen Elizabeth, Kingy's got to look after that lot of debtors, Levy, debtors. Bundy, you're clear cut.
pues Manahi and Heriwini Karaka, your clear cut credit debt free on this side with those kings I just said, and the petition King Ernest Augustus V, him live in England. Live. That's a live person birth certificate from Tiki Tiki, okay? 1830, 1831. Live title. Dead title, Queen, Vice Admiral, second hand, play, Admiralty flag, in the sea, 200 miles out. This is a land flag here. It's given on the land, dry land. This one's on the sea, high seas, where the pirates came from, in Australia to here, through the back door. And that's why the Queen is going through the back door, through America and TPPA sailing in the sea, Right? High seas, sailing in the seas, trying to pick up the Pacific Islands, 16 nations, countries, all the Kupapa ones, there's 12 now they've got, and those ones are trying to steal these Paramount's chief's authority to rule over this country with this second hand title. And now, all of a sudden, Prince Philip the Queen's husband resigns as Commander-in-Chief, not Chief Commander, Commander-in-Chief shed his skin of Satan, shed it, and the Queen is just about to shed her skin of a lizard, of a lizard. These are the monsters, these are the dragons here playing around with our titles on this side. We've got a gold dragon. You'll see it, the gold dragon, for the gold bars. This is God's gold. God's will, creation, with those memorials. Memorials. <coughs> the Moriori, Manikau, memorial, the wood carving, dating back beyond 1830 to Te Rawaikato Whara Here Here Manukau, 1820 to 1834, cut off at 1834, top. Okay, Bundy, 1820 to 1834, top. And you're in charge, Bundy, of the commercial side of this arm of the king. And Manahi is with me with the financial investment interests and financial martial law <coughs> and the magistrate court title holders magistrate owner of the land landlord <coughs> chief commander under this Manukau company conveyance instrument land transfer title in Edinburgh, Scotland, controlled by the Scottish rights of the World Court. The Freemasons are running the World Court. I make this statement clear today. That is our title, that the Freemasons, with Mohi Manikau, or his real name, Paramount Chief Timati Manikau, the fourth, the successor of that Te Rawaikato Wharahirehire Manukau title set up in Edinburgh as the Paramount Chief of Cambridge in New Zealand, Waikato region with his Waikato name and his Maungatauteri Pa Sai <coughs> village settlement. Settled, settled, settled. Hapu. Not Iwi, Apu. So that's that title sold these lands in New Zealand and the Pacific Islands and the world for that matter. All native lands from this blueprint here. Bundy and Manahi, I think you know that now. It's for the others to find who they are. We now know that the emails that I used, 85 of them, out of the 85, <coughs> there's only 30 emails of genuine connection 
to this side of the king's title. That's the clear cut. The other 50 is on this side under the queen, Victoria and Queen Elizabeth. Corrupted, fraudulent business. Two businesses. One corrupted, fraud, treasonous, all the rest of it. She's run away from you. She's run away from you. You're on your own. You're sailing the sea by yourself. This is not your flag. That's not your flag. It belongs to that side. You haven't got anything but the 1840 treaty out of the 1835 part of the flag. That's all you've got. An 1840 treaty that's worth nothing. It's not worth the paper it's written on. And Kingy, you'll have to sort that out. So what Kingy has done here is he's kicked the trustees are the legal landowners. He has kicked them off to T land blocks. The TB3 land blocks. I've got all the titles here. The first house on the block, right through the Pacific, right through the Pahi area, <coughs> and through um, uh, those blocks, the Waitangi block and the Titi blocks. This is Kingi's domain. So he is putting a meeting on, on the 30th, with um, uh, Titifai, Harawara, and Kingi's uh, cousin, I, I just forget her name, uh, so with the three of them have put the hui on on the 30th to remove the trustees and throw them on the other side, on the Waitangi land block, Waitangi treaty grounds. Okay, so that's going to happen. I'll be there. And so he just wants the land back. See, you take on this commercial thing with the flag, you take the land, whakapapa, the, all the native stuff off because native hasn't got any claim as being in the commercial game on this side and on this side. They, they can't contest in, with the word Maori. They can't do anything. They're, they're stymied and <clears throat> got no power as Maori. On this side it's run by these trustees. They are Crown Maori that are, belong to these pirates in Australia, New South Wales. So everything there, Kingi is going to remove that off that land and when he does, he can do that because he's a paramount on his own in that world. And so if he re removes them, then he can bowl that 1840 treaty that's worth nothing over. And that's the end of Bill English and all his founding documents, which was fraud in the first place. It's a fraudulent document with no end date contract on it. It's corrupted all the way through by the Queen hiding her business here in Waitangi Marae. Now, when that happens, these Paramount Chiefs seize that ship, which belongs to them anyway, and the land belongs to them as Paramount, and that Marae, and my carvings in there, the Wanoa carvings are in that Marae. It's a real Marae. The Titi Marae is not a real Marae because it hasn't got carvings in it. It's got, it got <coughs> uh, Williams, Henry Williams, Bishop in there, in the front. And all the photos of the two corners around as though he's the boss of that Marae. That's why the government pays for it, because the government controls that Marae. And on Kingy's side, he only wants the land back, kick the whole lot off, pick up the Marae and shift it somewhere else, off his land. That's a real story. He's got a right to do that, legally, got a right to do that. And I've got the documents to do it here. We've set it all up. Bundy, leave him to his divorces. He has his own Queen Victoria trust to sort out with me. In the meantime, you have this paramount chief to the land in the Pacific to sort out. With the cooks and the Moriori to sort out. Now, in all of this, the three paramount chiefs, there is Hiriwini Kraka, or he's Maori, on this side. Maori's on this side. This Maori on this side. I'm saying, Bundy is a 
Cook Island Tahitian. I'm a Cook Island Tahitian. My mother's side, Cook Island. Ka Kaika. Right? Kaika, Cook Island. And Wanoa Tahitian. Royal family Tahitian Maui memorial. Okay? Bundy is Tahitian. I can't say where he comes from, so that's up to him. But I'm saying he's Tahitian Cook Island too. The same as me. And Manahi, Parapara, Mohini is exactly the same as Mohi Tamati Manukau Paramount Chief from Rekohu, Chatham Islands country, as their title, straight to Africa. Okay? Straight to the permits. Permits on our documents and our flag, the, the, the Moai flag, with the Moai and the permits, that's our title. The DNA of me is exactly the same as Tahitian on Rapanui, Raiatea, and East Island, that's East Island Rapanui, to Mokonui, here at Mount Hikarangi, and that's Whakawhitira Native Court. That's my DNA title there, and also to Africa, <coughs> Kingdom of Ghana, and the Nub Nubians. DNA is exactly the same. Okay, so the Moriori is that way that way and to Cook Islands and between there and to Africa. Between there and there. The hot countries. Right? The whole hot country. The cold countries at the bottom is Britain, is down here. The East Island, all the eastern Africa and New Zealand, Pacific Islands, is at the top, closest to the sun pointing down this way. Not this way. This way. The world's turning this way. That way. Right? Clockwise that way. Or anti clockwise from the south if you put the north up top upside down the wrong way. It's that way. I'm gonna show you on this site I'm gonna put up the Maui Earth God Spirit <coughs> um, universe. World universe. I'm gonna make another site explaining our side of the story. Okay? how it really is. When they came here, the, the explorers came here, they drew this country upside down. And that was the right way out. Columbus. Okay, so um, I'm going to ring Bundy now. Oh, no, last thing. Hiruwini Kraka, or Sean Clark. He is the third paramount chief on this side. British, right? Brit British. Clark name. The Clarks signed the documents as witnesses and in the magistrate court on these documents. Okay? So he takes precedent here with these two original natives. Not Maori. Two original natives. Clark is standing there as British that married into me and the Tahitian Bundy. We're picking the right people to fit the documents, Bunny, and the rest of these stupid Maoris on this side. We're showing you who the hell you are and how come you play up. Like Kahi, Harawara, play up, you're on this side. They always play up when the truth is put up. They go to town sarcastic and saying stupid things like, oh, you bore me. That's what she said, Kahi, you bore me with the truth stuff. You, you can't take it, that's why. You can't take the truth. That's your, you've got a problem here of identity. You've got a big identity crisis problem because your Maoris fashioned it that way with the iwi. You're all stuck in the iwi. The Harawaras are stuck in the iwi in the Mana Party, the Maori Party and the government. You're stuck in debt. You created it. You created all the confusion of a real title of a king here that created the laws you're using over here. Ask you where you got those laws from. You either use those laws, Kahi, or use your own. Where's your we got our own. We got a Maui crown law. It's called truth. Show me your title here. 
you won't have one. You just said we came out of the ground, but your mum, we came out of the ground. You can go back in the ground too. Everybody goes in the ground. But the DNA you've got is here now because your white man from America came here and fucked this lot here. Right? That's how it happened. Don't borrow the surname of the male line. You stick to your own male line. Don't, don't steal the male line or the female line from the native side here. You stay on that side and subject yourself to your queen. Don't play with the king. Don't even fly the flag. You have no right to fly that flag from your side and have a foot over there and a foot in this flag. Your 1835 flag is dead. There is no legal in it. I, you can forget it. I'm telling you, you're sitting on the sidelines. You tell me to sit on the side and watch. I'm not going to watch you rabbitos going to town corrupting any more. That's the end of your corruption. Rothschild Banks on that side. The World Court and the Freemasons and the Manukau title is on this side. Okay, you got that? They rule the world with this flag now. Okay, they're using the flag but they're not telling you the truth, deeds of truth. Where do they get their authority from? In the World Court. It comes from Westminster. The World Court was set up from Westminster. They're trying to get rid of it so that they can keep the Queen is in EU Parliament and the World Court sitting underneath our kings over here, the King William III of Orange. That's our title. Okay, you got that? So that's Hiruwini. Hiruwini Karaka. Someone Clark is a paramount chief carrying the British immigrants title here over the sea of Admiralty and landing on our land with the right to be there, to occupy the land and the leases and the tenancy agreements with these two paramount chiefs. They are the landlords and the rent chiefs. He's a rent chief. He's the one that rules a lot. He has the first say with this British flag because his name is British. They own this flag. Bundy. Hedewini. That's his flag. That's his DNA family's flag from Britain. He's got a right to speak above everybody else in this country. And he's 90. The same age as the Queen. You see? He's got more power than the Queen on this side. That man has more power than the Queen on that side. Bundy and Manahi and all you stupid Maoris on this side. That man, when he says you're a bunch of monkeys to Hinefari, writing on the blackboard, what to do, how to do, how to set up an upper house. It's none of her business, Bundy. It's none of her business to be there. I, I, I should have got up and said, get the hell out of here. But no, they run that marae. That's their marae. They pay for it. Their government on this side pays for it. The best thing to do is get a big digger and shift it off the land with their memorials and throw it back into the ocean where it came from and let them sail out there and find another place to go and set their stupid business up that's got stupid Maori names that came out of thin air, the same as their Rothschild Bank's funny money, monopoly, pyramid, matrix, stupid matrix, homemade, fake titles and money, US dollar money that came out of this power note on this side of King William III of Orange, the Royal Court in Belgium, Netherlands. That's our title. Wake up, people. I'm telling the truth. That's this flag that you've been waving around up and down the street protesting for this side so it keeps hidden. You stupid Marys kept our title hidden because you did this so that nobody will know for your iwi Maori clown government in Wellington with Bill English, a matai 
a white martai that's floating around here on our land, these fellows own, legitimately own. They are the Crown, Moai, Taishan royal families, ownership with the Moriori, Managau, title holders. Everybody else can bring their own story up and put it online and show everybody. Too late. You can't go to court, okay? You can't go to court and contest this title because you'll fail. We are the court. We are the highest court, highest flag in the world. Back into the custody and ownership of its rightful owners, the Paramount Chiefs. There are other Paramount Chiefs in New Zealand, but they'll have to learn what a Paramount Chief means, equal to the King, and where they fit in it, and where's their documents to go with it. I'm saying to the Manukau families in this country, <clears throat> this has nothing to do with Papa or uh, inheritance to something with your name. No, it's just a contract, business contract. You still got your land, your native titles, you got, you got all that, that's yours, that's your land. You say it's your land, it's your land, but not the commerce, the money and the assets that came out of here. Now, all that commercial contract stuff belongs with this king and these paramount chiefs and myself, administrator and executor of the Manukau company. That's a company, another person, right? Another legal person, fiction, title holder is the Manukau Company in Edinburgh, Scotland. Nothing to do with your families, the Manukau families. This is between Mohi Manukau and myself as his executor of that business company over there. That's it. That's all it is. And the titles here of all the instrument papers sitting above the land, holding down on top of the land as security of investment interests to its shareholders. That's all. And to all those people who are asking questions about natural law, natural law doesn't make money. You won't be able to live on natural law or any other law other than common law that belongs to the king or this side. This is common law. This is every other statute law that's been made up out of this admiralty flag on this king's side for this queen's side to corrupt and defraud with many, 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 many laws they have added to this original. We're going straight back on the original to hang them with this one. Just one law out of 19 A4 pages of King William's seven years in Westminster to shut this lot down. Just like that. Okay, so I'm going to bring Bundy, if I've got enough on the phone left, on the <coughs> uh, film. Um, Bundy. That's if he's there. Might have gone to work. It's been a bit cold uh, lately. So yesterday I didn't feel so good. Oh, I had it all ready to go. We pay uh, um Ah, shucks. How difficult there is. Here he goes. Bundy. Oh, he might be going to work. Bundy. Just leave a message under the tone, then hang up or press the hash key. Bundy, give me a call please, uh, John 1R here, well, just an update. Um, <clears throat> everything's looking fine so far, uh, but I'll just let you know on, 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 on what's happened, what's happening. Oh, it's gone. That's it. He's got a message. He'll ring me back. Uh, but it's very important to keep up to the minute on progress. 
uh, and it's online. It's on Facebook now. I've just put the petition, uh, King, King Ernest Augustus V to the throne, uh, with uh, 38 degrees, uh, and I'll be using Facebook and fire that up at the same time on a new site as well, uh, just for this petition, uh, Ernest Augustus to the throne uh, site. Facebook site. One of 90 now. There's 90 f Facebook sites altogether under the Moai Crown um, <clears throat> Federal State Commonwealth Government of the World. Okay, so we're setting that up in Auckland on Cook Street where there's, we're going to evict those uh, landowners off the land. They've been warned and they're on this side, they've been warned through from this side to this side uh, of their fraud and Panama Papers and bank fraud operating businesses in Auckland on these Manukau lands under this Manukau company in Edinburgh, Scotland. Okay, so this here, the World Court, our court, our jurisdiction of Admiralty, financial martial law over this Crown Queen fraudulent business in Westminster right now that's getting demolished by the DUP party and Sinn Féin or Jerry Adams uh, of Northern Ireland. So that's our Irish eight point star on this flag in Ulster, Ireland. So if you're listening up Jerry Adams or Sinn Féin, you're us. Okay, in front of everybody on this video, you're holding this eight point star St. Patrick's Church Order in Down Patrick Village in Belfast. That's my Cosgrove Wanoa family from there. Okay, that's our Wanoa family from there. And I speak for myself because Jamie Patrick, we've made our differences up and apologise to each other and forgiving each other. So that's where her Patrick family comes from, Belfast, the same place as my Cosgrove family. So she's the eight point star on this flag representing the Patrick family. Okay? So that's our connection to you, uh, Jerry Adams, St. Fane, from Northern Ireland to screw this lot up in the Parliament. Theresa May is the Lord of the Treasury with uh, Sir Philip Jones, Lord First Lord of the Sea of Admiralty, and she's just appointed Philip Hammond, who was the uh, Secretary of State and the Foreign Minister, and now he's the Ex-Chancellor uh, of the Exchequer Treasurer. Okay, so the, these are the elite people controlling our flag of Admiralty Magistrate Court inside Westminster Parliament. Straight to the EU Parliament which is run and owned by this King William III of Orange, Netherlands, Brussels, Belgium is this flag, Theresa May, that's this flag on this video, citation, fact, evidence, on record, here, <coughs> in the Maori Crown, Federal State Commonwealth Government of the World, here in Auckland, on the land of Manukau Company in Edinburgh, Scotland, to the world in the world court on the side in Brussels. You got that? You've been stealing it with the Queen who's been using her Prime Minister John Key and now Bill, Bill English but John Key Panama Papers fraud corrupted power He's given to you through 
the Governor General here, Jerry Mataparai Andrews, and now Patsy Reddy, Governor General, through to Iwi Maori, Peter Paraoni, leader of the New Zealand First Party, political party, and chairman of the Waitangi Committee. Trust as legal landowners of these lands that belong to these Paramount Chiefs King, Paramount Chief Equal, partnership of Admiralty, flag on dry land given. It's a given. It's a fact. Deeds of truth, Admiralty, Court Martial Law, Financial Martial Law instrument of the Native Grand Jury Trial Magistrate Court Jurisdiction of Admiralty Private Contract Financial Investment Interests and Military Threat of the Navy and Military from Britain to protect our business from the thug pirates on your side, Pita Paroni, and your corrupted queen that's not there. She's gone. She's jumped overboard from this ship here into the sea where she came from and swam all the way to Brussels to hide under King William III of Orange, King William IV flag here, power and the money. You've shifted the money out of HM Treasury back in front with us, the partnership of Admiralty and this flag of a king, the only king's flag in the world, given on dry land from the Sea of Admiralty, in the sea from England, Westminster, to here, Plymouth to Plymouth, Devonport to Devonport, Auckland, Ulster here, right here, in Auckland, under the Manukau land title, in England, <coughs> Westminster, not Edinburgh, where Prince Philip comes from, the husband of Queen Elizabeth II. He's shed his commander-in-chief coat off of a devil and gone and retired as if nothing happened in all the time he screwed this lot with a humbug commander-in-chief of this navy on this side's flag using a Union Jack flag in the sea that has no King's commercial bank interests attached to it with a military in it to protect thugs like Queen Elizabeth II. No real coronation.